Well, there's a feeling that if the Steelhawks are going to continue on their run, they've gotten a little bit better every year. And this is their fifth season, and the last two have resulted in playoff exits to Whitby. The first time in five games, the second time in seven. And we're ready to kick off another season of Steelhawks hockey here at the Dave. In goal for the Dundas Real McCoys in red, it's Mike Mole, number one. And in goal for Hamilton Steelhawks in white, Adam Monroe. Charlie Stevens brings it in over the line and brings it behind the net. Gets jammed, goes back to the point where Mangos over skates it, and everybody does until Stevens picks it up and skates around center. He'll dump it back into the zone, and Mangos has it on that far side, bringing it over for Atkinson. Atkinson to the blue line, not out. Hamilton looking to intercept, and McLean almost did, a new addition to the Steelhawks team this year. As Paul C. and Freeney gets the puck and gets it back to Sullivan. Sullivan puts it over to Gianfrini, and over to center. It's intercepted by Terry, who will dump it back in, and the Dundas Real McCoys will make changes. Puck goes behind the net, and to the side where Gianfrini picks it up and plays it through center. I got everything I need up here in the broadcast booth. Hot. Sullivan. Sorry, not Sullivan. It's the McCoys bringing it down, and Atkinson plays it in for Brewer. Brewer takes it behind the net. Dundas comes up with the puck and they jam away at it. Back of the net is Bart. Goes into the corner and on the boards and out to center. Nice play by Thorne to get the puck. Thorne drops it for Cameron. Cameron looking for a streaking winger in the zone, but he doesn't. And Mole comes out to play it. Plays it off the glass to the line. And out. So the Steelhawks will have to clear the zone. De Silva over on this side to Brad Woods who hammers it into the zone. Goes back behind the net. Tresito back there, another addition to this defense. Playing it off the boards. Through center, Hamilton brings it through center. Rinaldi making a couple of moves. Puck gets picked up, side of the net, thrown on net. Mole leaves it there and the puck comes loose and back out to center. Played off the boards at Chianfrini, tries to get it to Salt, but it's intercepted by Wood. Wood shoots and a nice save by Monroe and it goes all the way to center. Russell playing the puck back there, gives it over on the far side to Brewer. Dan Brewer plays it, doesn't get out of the zone, Salt intercepts, gets it to McGregor, and a big save by Mole. Cianfrini dumps it into the corner. Hamilton making changes as Russell wheels the puck around to Brewer. Brewer tries to go through center and fans on it, but it gets to Dan LaPointe anyway. He has it knocked off his stick, and it's Woods picking it back up and firing it back behind the Hamilton net. Good start to this game as Newberry leads it up. Yes, that's Chris Newberry. If you're wondering, here's McLean over to Newberry. Newberry goes back to the point. But Sullivan had not yet come on the ice and completed his change and was unable to keep it in. He'll bring it in himself this time on the far side. Goes back behind the net where Mole plays it. Flips it over to McLean. McLean intercepts. Hamilton hits McLean on the half boards, takes it down low, goes back to the point. Newberry waits, needs some traffic in front. They circle, fires it, looking for a deflection from McLean. Didn't get it. And Phil Brewer leads it up, and he'll take it through center for Dundas. Drop it in over the line. Far shot, a save, and it's gobbled up by Monroe. About three and a half minutes of action. <clears throat> the big story between these two teams this year is that they're both hosting, co-hosting the Allen Cup. So they're both automatically in, and that'll be this April, as these teams will have both a share of the games leading up until then, as they host one of Canada's oldest amateur sports trophies. McNeil nearly gets it, but Hamilton gets it out of the line. Di Benedetto tries to swing around for it. He was a bright spot for Hamilton last year, gathering 30 points in his first campaign with the Steelbirds. Di Benedetto. Gets it to the line, it goes all the way back out where Sullivan plays it. Fired back in by Folks. Di Benedetto gets it on the half board. Sullivan trying to get it back up. It stays into the corner. Thorne has it knocked off his stick. And Sullivan has it skip over his and go all the way down the ice. Icing's waved off. Monroe tries to catch them on a change. A good head up play to Stefan Thorne, who brings it in over the line and into the slot. Thorne spinning around and he'll throw it back behind the net. Over on that side, McGregor lets it go, but Salt wasn't on that page, and it comes all the way back to center. Over the line, McGregor gets it there, and there's 
Charlie Stevens intercepting it for Dundas and bringing it out to the blue line. Stevens to center. Now over to Shane Terry who chips it ahead. Almost gets through through Cam Watson. Rinaldi has a look and decides to change the action of it and send everybody in the other direction. Salt not quick enough getting there. Back behind the net is Tresito, who makes one good solid hack at it and comes up with the puck after picking up his own stick. He comes in through center and bringing it in as Rinaldi carries it in over the Dundas line. Fires a shot, and that's a save by Mole, a blocker, and he'll freeze onto it. Fans, the Hamilton Steelhawks wish to thank our sponsors, Play It Again Sports. Make sure you pick up your coupon in the lobby area of the arena. Play It Again Sports. These skates have more shifts in them yet. So a couple shots, and these two teams feeling each other out early in this one. Going back behind the net, that's Brad Woods firing it around. Just gets over Cianfrini's stick. And he'll get back to the blue line where Dan Sullivan fires it around. Perfetto. Perfetto back to Sullivan. And Newberry has it over the line. Gets it in the slot area. It goes across to Brandon McLean. A spin the shot. And Mole gets a stick on that one and is able to deflect it out of play. These two teams met last week in Hamilton's first, uh, second game of the season, in Hamilton's first win. Uh, Dundas comes in with a 1-1 one -one record, one record, but these two teams again playing in Dundas last week, and Hamilton winning that game 3-2 on a late goal by Josh Rinaldi, a slapper that just found its way under the bar in the third period. A close game all the way around. Tight checking, we might see more of that this evening. Far side over to Brewer. Brewer, draw pass for Bennett, but he wasn't ready for it. Back in the slot and behind the net it goes. Snyder is poking around there, number 10 for Dundas. Back behind the net. Burnett tries to get it back in front and he can't quite do it. Newberry has it, Chris Newberry throws it over on the far side to Sullivan. Sullivan back in the zone and gives it over to Gianfrini. Gianfrini leads it through center, McLean with a backhand pass. Boy, that would have been an impressive play by Perfetto had he been able to bat that ahead. We've played six minutes in this game, no score yet in the opening frame. Mole takes a long shot in, but has trouble handling the rebound, and a little bit of a communication miss there with Brewer, but Brewer does eventually comes up to the puck. Tries to get it ahead to Bennett, it's intercepted by D. Benedetto, kept in over the line. Here's Thorne, goes back in the slot to D. Benedetto, moving in, stopped by Mole, and goes through and wide. Nice save by Mole, with D. Benedetto closing in at close range. To the line it goes, they spin around, that's Brewer, and the puck does eventually get poked out by Di Benedetto, who wanted his own team to handle it. Folks to Di Benedetto, drops it in over the line, this is Brian Cameron shooting! Mole looked behind him, but it hit him in the glove. <coughs> Tresito with a point shot, behind the net, Di Benedetto tries to jam it in, couldn't do it, sorry. that. He's been out there a while, another deflected pass, some really good forechecking. Nice play in there for Harvey. LaPointe with a shot, and Monroe makes sure there's no rebound. And they go back behind the net. Some stick swinging there between Thorne and Dan LaPointe. <coughs> oh, man. LaPointe takes the draw. Pied shot goes over the top of the net by Simon Mangos. Atkinson couldn't control the puck. <coughs> Tough angle shot there, stopped by Mole. Back behind the net, giving chase. Steelhawks playing it at the boards. McGregor gets into the slot, goes the other way. Intercepted by Woods. <coughs> and Harvey dumps it in. Now, I knew that cold would catch up with me at some point. Behind the net, Bowie Brewer was all alone in front there. <coughs> and Perfetto able to hold the puck and get it out. Brewer brings it in over the line, shoots, save, deflected wide. Monroe almost on the jam, it comes back in front. Dundas all over that front of the net. Mangos keeps it in, puts it to the front of the net. Monroe pokes it away. Back behind the net, LaPointe tries to get it to center to the line, and McNeil keeps it in for Dundas. Far shot, deflected, just goes over top of the net. Fired in by Atkinson. McNeil has it behind the net. Centers! 
No one was able to get it, but here's Simon Mangos now, all alone. <coughs> Hamilton running around in their own zone. All kinds of pressure by Dundas here. Back behind the net, LaPointe looking to center, he does. And it's Newberry that comes up with the puck. Newberry flips it ahead to Profetto. Profetto has it. Profetto should scores. <coughs> Profetto from Newberry. Hawks goal, scored by number 91, Steven Perfetto. Assist by number 11, Chris Newberry. Time of the goal, 11.23. <coughs> Di Benedetto comes back in and fires another one in, and Hamilton that draws first blood here at the Dave. Tonight between these two teams. Welcome to the team, Steven Perfetto. Shot goes wide and Mole gloves it. Pretty good. So 11.04 to go in the first period. And the Steelhawks get on the board first. Newberry with a nice little toss pass in there for Perfetto. And that worked very much to Hamilton's favor to sneaking in behind the defense. <coughs> I need a cough button. <laughs> Poke to the line, Cameron gets it out and to center. Big hit by Thorne on Woods. Brad Woods and Thorne still tangled up. Little shirt tugging there. Hey, what part of Canada are you from? Folks to the line wearing Theo Peckham's old number 24 tonight. Di Benedetto, flip shot, shooting. And Mole makes another good save. <coughs> He's been early. He's been good and he's been early in this one. Oh man. Just not on the team this year, Rob. They decided it was time to part ways. I think it was a bit of the uh, commute. He was coming in from Owen Sound. A little too long. But with a more local flavor this time. Well, last year was a sad start to the season as we mourn the loss of Jim Hickey, who was a huge part of this team, and the formative years of the Hamilton Steelhawks here in the Allen Cup. It is with great sadness that tonight that we don't see Mike Dyer from the Dundas Real McCoys. You'll notice on the shoulders of the players, uh, they're wearing a patch that has Mike Dyer's initials on it. He was the statistician with the team and served many years and was always a fixture and a very kind one. And on a night like this, when I'm coughing, Mike would be the first guy to be offering me water. I really miss him tonight. And he's certainly in our thoughts. <coughs> the Steelhawks also bearing a logo, a crescent with his initials on it, which speaks to how well Mike was liked in the league over these past couple of seasons. And uh, he sat right beside me the whole time. I didn't even know he was a Bruins fan. <laughs> but... Uh, the teams did get an opportunity going in October to show him a patch and a logo that they would be sporting on their jerseys this year in honor of Mike. And Mike said, you mean, or possibly in remembrance. And two days later, we lost Mike. And it's a big loss for the Allen Cup Hockey uh, League. And we certainly miss him tonight. Williams fires the puck in. Newberry gets around, gets the puck loose. McLean tries to hack away at it. And it'll come all the way back into the Hamilton zone where Tresito fires it to center. Newberry plays it back to Cianfrini. Behind the net he goes. Newberry again gets it out to Brandon McLean. Through center, back to Cianfrini. Makes a nice little move at center. <coughs> Dumps it in. Newberry making some adjustments to his elbow pads. And some real tenacious forechecking here. The likes we haven't really seen in previous years from the Steelhawks. They're really jumping on that puck. 
there are bragging rights on the line with these two teams co-hosting the Allen Cup this season. McLean dekes his way in, flips it in front. Buck goes into the corner where Sullivan plays it back there for Thorne. Thorne batting away with Charlie Stevens to it, gets it to Cameron. Cameron looking for someone in front, gets it there, but it's intercepted by Dundas. And red to center, three strong to center. It's Atkinson coming in with Cam Watson, a shot. Nice blocker saved by Monroe. Into the corner it goes. Here comes D. Benedetto to center, waiting for help. He's, they might drop it to Sullivan, he does. Sullivan takes it into the corner as he was hounded by Shane Terry. Dan Sullivan back to the point and they're just content to get it low where Di Benedetto is waiting and a centering pass that almost worked to perfection. Here's another chance as Watson brings it in over the line catching Hamilton in on a change. A hack there, no arm goes up. Right in front, puck is loose. Didn't get in on Monroe but Dundas still controls the puck going back in the net to Watson. Tresito, Reggie Tresito gets it into the neutral zone where Di Benedetto takes over. Di Benedetto skates through the logo in center and drops it to Thorne. Thorne drops it to Tosito, a low shot, nice stick save by Mole. McGregor to the point. <coughs> fires it into the corner. Dundas brings it out. Brad Woods fires a hot one in and it goes into the corner. Lead pass from Manali to Salt, who's all alone on this side. Salt with McGregor going to the net. Salt shoots, blocker saved by Mole, and he was going the other way. Harvey bringing it out. That is Kevin Harvey, the brother of NHL Todd Harvey, who played many seasons for the Rangers and the San Jose Sharks. Cam Salt doubles back in the Hamilton zone play. They play it through center. I don't know what it's just something about this year. Maybe I haven't seen a lot of games, but the skating seems crisp. McGregor has to double back as Hamilton was not completely tagged up there. McGregor picks it up again. Has some generous room across the line. McGregor tries to get it into the slot. That doesn't work, and Brewer plays it out to Bennett. Bennett brings it in over for center for Dundas and into the Hamilton zone. Bennett shooting, deflected high, and out of play. Fans, the Hamilton Steelhawks would like to thank our photography sponsors, Pro-Am Images. Be sure to check out the Hamilton Steelhawks webpage and like our Facebook page and relive all the action again through Pro-Am Images. I got one for you too, Rob. <coughs> I'm not, <laughs> do you want me to mention boudoir photography? Okay. It's, you're not ready yet. You're not ready to go public with that. Atta boy. See, and Freeney has it into the corner where Brewer picks it up. Goes back in there, and Newberry, another strong play to center. He is a tall drink of water. Perfetto trying to go back to Newberry, and they have some early chemistry. Atkinson doesn't get it out as Perfetto keeps it in again. Another nice play. Look out, here's Atkinson to center. Brewer had men closing in on him, and Bennett tried to pick it up. But that didn't work. Goes back to the point for Atkinson. Atkinson, low shot in. Deflected, loose puck. Oh, and they just fanned on that opportunity. That was Wood in there alone. Mackenzie Wood brings it back in. Fires a hot one that goes wide. Deflects and takes a Hamilton bounce, and McLean brings it to center. McLean over the line, tries a little drop play. Gets it to Cameron, shoots off the goal post. Mole was going the other way, and that one hit the post. Good action here, everybody going end to end. LaPointe with a long one that Monroe stops. Sorry, that was Harvey. And into the corner goes where Tresito plays it back for Sullivan. And now Di Benedetto with a quick pass to Cameron. And over on that far side, it's Tresito bringing it over the line and dumping it down into the zone. Mole plays it around the boards and to the line, and that's where Mackenzie Wood plays it to Dan LaPointe, who brings it in over the line, fires one. And that goes high and out of play. And with 4.51 left, Hamilton has a 1-0 lead and nearly made it 2-0 had it not been for that goal post. Face off in the Hamilton zone to the blocker side of Monroe. This period just flying by. Are you noticing that new banner in the, uh, in the southeast corner there with Dave Andrichuk's number eight on it? That wasn't there last year. It's there now. 
Hamilton trying to get out of the zone. They can't. To the line and played over on this side to Cam Salt. Salt drops it to McGregor. McGregor trying to work his way into the slot, but has it knocked off his stick. Charlie Stevens gets it to the line, not out. Salt keeps it in to McGregor. McGregor takes it behind the net. McGregor brings it in front of backhand and a nice save by Mole. Lots of goalies in this game with an aim that ends in M. Steelhawks have a guy named Monroe in the net tonight. They also have a guy named Morsi in the system. We got Anthony Marshall and Mike Mole. Tonight's game is brought to you by the letter M. Intercepted by McLean in alone scores. McLean scores and Hamilton makes it two nothing. Yippee Kai Abe, welcome to the Steelhawks, Brandon McLean. Steelhawks goal. Scored by number 17, Brandon McLean. Unassisted, time of the goal, 16.01 of the first period. McLean at it again. Newberry fires one. That goes off the mask of Mole. Comes back right in front of him. In these low ceilings, the low vaunted ceilings of the Dave Andrichuk Mountain Arena. Hamilton really forechecking hard, so hard tonight. They've been on so many of those pucks, and McLean like a beast. Getting that turnover at the blue line and taking it all the way in for a goal. Bennett riding his man into the play. Sullivan gets it to the line. And this could be Di Benedetto and Thorne on a two-on-one. Di Benedetto had to slow up a bit to let Thorne catch up. And Dundas took it away. Bennett brings it in over the line. Shot saved by Monroe. Puck goes back behind the net. Hamilton hacking away at it. To the line and into the slot. Thorne spinning around with it. Tresito. Back behind the net. He's been impressive tonight, seeing him on the puck there. Very strong plays. Two hands on the stick. Behind the net, coming back in front. It's Atkinson. Fires a hot shot that was wide that a lot of people protecting their valuable headshots. Making sure it didn't hit him in the teeth. Through the slot and back to Bennett. Bennett dumps it low. Heading for the net is Woods. Centering pass. And he got a stick on it, but that... Just not enough wood on it, so to speak. A long puck. This one goes all the way down for icing. Well, these two teams met last year, and the season series between them, Hamilton won 5-3 to three in the eight games they played. Hamilton scoring 37. Dundas scoring 31. So some high-scoring affairs. There's certainly no shortage of firepower between these two teams. Hamilton comes into this game uh, a game up on Dundas, who's won one and one. Hamilton with two wins and one loss. Pass goes through the neutral zone. I got to be ready for my last minute or the two guys from Dundas are going to give it to me that hang out outside the booth. Oh, a good play from the stomach there was Woods. Backhand there by LaPointe doesn't get through. Woods at the point keeps it in. Deflected shot by Wood. <laughs> and it's a forest in front of Monroe. Lead pass, Rinaldi takes the shot, shoots. Rebound, big rebound for Salt, who takes it behind the net. Tries to center it. Goes to the line. And Salt equaling energy, unable to center the pass there to awaiting Rinaldi. LaPointe fakes the shot, makes a couple of moves, and McGregor says thank you very much and dumps it to center to the line. And the referee says that one came out. Excellent use of Layla. As always, Giorgio. What a treat. I wasn't expecting to see you. I was expecting to see you tomorrow. For those fans out there, we'd like to wish our own Giorgio DePaula good luck tomorrow and hope everything goes smoothly. I know it's been a chaotic week. You will. This is just an early part of the test. But you look no worse for the whaler, and you look very cool. Not even breaking a sweat. <laughs> 
<laughs> Newberry brings it over to the line. Perfetto trying to center the puck. He can't. It's intercepted by Steelens and taken to center. Puck will turn around and go all the way into the Dundas zone. Roscovich has the arm up. It might be a long offside. No, nope, could be. It looks like they're going all the way for icing. <clears throat> so might as well go for an ice, cold icing. Last minute of play in the first period. Puck goes through center and McLean had a chance to get it. Dundas does not want to get down three to nothing in this one. Russell with a play off the board. Steven has the puck intercepted. Center! Oh, and Newberry just missed it. Terry brings the puck to center and throws it over on the far side for Watson. But it's intercepted by Tresito, who plays it off the boards. Newberry almost hacks it above the stick of Brewer. 30 seconds to go in the opening period. Hamilton leading two to nothing. Perfetto bringing a hell of a lot of speed through that zone. Look at him handle that puck, eh? Lot. Back into the slot, almost intercepted by McLean again. Oh, he's got that stick like a surgeon. Now gets it to Newberry. Newberry working it low back to McLean. Intercepted and an end of a period breakaway for Burnett. Bennett going in, shoot, big save by Monroe. And it hits the ceiling with 3.4 seconds left. Oh, that was a chance to turn this game on a dime. And Monroe says no, sticking that big pad up. And off the ice too. Is it just me, Giorgio, or has there been a heck of a pace to this period? They seem faster than last year, don't they? <laughs> oh, three more seconds and I can have that lozenge. Puck guns one, point shot, deflected high, and goes back behind the net. There will be no second rebound, and the period ends. Fans, make sure you visit the Hawk's Nest in the community room, located on the upper level behind the benches, where you can pick up an ice-cold beer. Period to play, Hamilton leading two to nothing. On goals by Perfetto and McLean. And starting through center, Cameron. Dumping it in there. Hamilton looking like the better team through the first period, generating a lot of turnovers. But don't be fooled, Monroe's been good in net too, and so is Mole. It's actually a good end-to-end -end game so far. Great way to start the season at the Dave. We got about three, 400 people in here tonight. One of which, John Crockett, I will be going out for a beverage with after. Stevens. Firing the puck on the far side, that is Simon Mangos. Intercepted by Terry. He gets it over to Stevens, and Stevens brings it in over the line. Intercepted, another shot saved by Monroe. Puck is loose, and Hamilton comes up with it. Di Benedetto's got Rinaldi on a bit of a two-on-one. Could be a three-on-two. Over the far side to Rinaldi. Too far back in the slot. They score! Tresito makes it 3 nothing Hamilton. Yep. Steel Hawks goal. His first as a Steel Hawk. By number 95, Reggie Tresito. Assist by number 74, Josh Rinaldi. And number 96, Justin D. Benedetto. Time of the goal, 59 seconds. De Silva brings it back in over the line. Well, now. McGregor has the puck, picks it up for Hamilton. Far side for Rinaldi. Rinaldi shoots. High shot, goes over top of the net, but Mole got a piece of it. Now back of the net, big hit 
on McGregor on that side of the boards. Salt dodges an arm by De Silva, and you might see a bit of the rougher stuff as the score tends to widen. But a 3 0 lead means nothing in the Allen Cup. Oh, Monroe looking beside it, behind him. Didn't know he had it, but he did, and there'll be a face off to his glove side. Big shot from the point, that deflects and goes wide. Russell took that one. And it goes back to the point where the Steelhawks get the puck to the line and just out. McLean brings it in. And now to his backhand, McLean into the slot and he just trickled it wide. Sullivan to LaPointe. LaPointe brings it in over center. LaPointe takes it into the corner, takes a hit from Tresito, who went all body there. LaPointe has a big target too, centering pass. Comes into the slot, and Dundas not converting on those short slot passes, of which they've had quite a few of this evening. Tresito brings it in over the line, fires it into the corner, getting into the slot. Profeto going for a skate with it, fires it back behind the net. Tresito to Newberry. Newberry's hit from behind, no arm up. In that play, there was by the linesman, but that's because it was offside. 16.56 to go here in the second period. Hamilton ahead, three to nothing. Harvey takes it in over the line, shot. Blocker saved by Monroe, goes into the corner. Now to the line where Harvey gets it to Cameron. Cameron brings it to the line, not out. Cameron brings it in over the line. Cameron shoots, save, rebound. Another nice save by Mole, and it goes into the corner. Dundas plays it off the boards into the lines and to center. Mike Folks will take it back for Cianfrini. Hamilton slowing the pace here and Dundas getting a bit of a forward change as Harvey goes off the ice. McNeil comes on for him. Big hit by Palillo there, aiming for Cameron. And here comes Dundas over the line. Brewer with a shot. And what a wrister that was that sailed over top of the net. Brewer gets it back behind the net. McNeil giving chase, wants to get position on Cianfrini, who gets the puck. Dundas keeps it into the corner. Brewer plays it off the side of the net. Puck bounces in front, and eventually it's Thorne coming away with it to center. Thorne brings it in over the line. Thorne makes a little play, flips it to the front of the net, and Mole will cover it up as it squeaks to him. Fans, once again, the Hamilton Community Choir operates out of St. Peter's Church in East Hamilton. If you're interested in joining or want to try out your singing voice, contact the friendly people of the Hamilton Community Choir. Mole stops the puck and makes a play, and it goes out to center. Williams, seen limited ice time tonight. Sort of the fifth D there back tonight, working around. Sullivan. Plays it around the boards, they get it out to center. Sullivan wearing the C now. Salt plays it into the slot for Rinaldi. Rinaldi shoots, and that just goes over top of the net. Him and Woods swing at each other. Goes back to the point. Sullivan shoots, deflected, goes wide. Rinaldi hacks it back of the net to McGregor, who tries to center it. But it's eventually intercepted by De Silva, and they bring it out to center. Over the line is Stevens to Watson, who tried to center it but couldn't get there. Into the corner, Stevens picks up the puck. He's got a tall, lanky frame, and he tried to center it, but it's a little bit tired there. Be interesting to see how the legs go as the game wears on. Salt off the boards and back behind the net where Sullivan plays it. Over on the far side to Williams. Williams through center to the line. Rinaldi fires it into the corner, and Hamilton will use that opportunity to do a wholesale change. Dundas looking to catch them as Brewer was... Sitting up there near the center ice line. Now a long lead pass. Intercepted by Newberry who gets it over to Tresito. Tresito behind the net for Hamilton. Plays it off the boards. It bounces once and it's Newberry. Tries to pass to McGregor who had to reach to get it. Now he has it. Back behind the net. Profeto to McLean. Intercepted by Snyder who eventually gets it over to Brewer. Bennett trying to hack away at it but Back to the line, and Hamilton will bring it out to center. This is Newberry getting it in stride. Makes a nice little pass, but was deflected by Snyder. 
Otherwise, Hamilton would have had a nice entry, but they have to regain now and go back. Tresito. Profeto. Folks to Bennett intercepting. Brewer leads it up to Snyder. Now to Bennett. Bennett into Brewer. Brewer behind the net, centered, and that's intercepted by Hamilton. And it's McLean bringing it out to center, and a hard shot will go all the way in. Mole stops it by the Zamboni area, and a dump pass gets to center. Brewer, Bennett brings it in over the line to Brewer. Brewer tried to backhand it in front, almost did. Monroe trying to get the blocker glove on it, and he does. And he'll hold on to it for a stoppage in play. 13-17 to go in the second period. It's 3-0 Hamilton. And Giorgio is looking to be turned loose. Maybe he's just sort of moderately shaking his hand there. Simon Mangos tries to center it. Behind the net it goes where Di Benedetto plays it off the glass and to center. Harvey <laughs> over the blue line and brings it in for Dundas. Back behind the net. Atkinson fires it back behind the net where Woods trying to play it with his feet. Mackenzie Wood tried to center it. Hacking away at it into the line where Atkinson just fires it back. Hits a skate and Stefan Thorne will have the puck there and he'll lead it out to the blue line. Over to Cameron. Cameron takes a big hack. Gets it into the slot. Thorne shot and a nice save by Mole. Back behind the net. Back in front to Cameron. Shot another save by Mole. Who's trying to have trouble covering it. Has to come way out of his crease to smother it. And with 12.28 to go in the second period, Hamilton leading 3 to nothing. Well, a lot more NHL power on this Hamilton Steelhawks team this year. You've got Di Benedetto, who you had, who has eight games in the show. David Ling with 93 games, most of them with Columbus. Uh, he's not playing tonight. He's quite the character. Chris Newberry has 76 NHL games, and Adam Monroe with 17. Your goaltender for the Hamilton Steelhawks tonight. Sullivan to the line. They lead it to center. McGregor tries to chip it in. Bounces. He has to tag back up, but that gives Dundas the opportunity to pick up the puck. Now swinging it around the boards. Justin De Silva brings it to center and a long lead pass to Watson, who brings it to Stevens and back to Watson. Now it goes back in the slot area and to the line where Terry spins it around and Salt makes a nice little backhand spin. Picked up by Rinaldi over the line. Rinaldi fakes, gets into the slot, shoots, and it just goes off a skate into the corner where De Silva plays it. And this one will go all the way down the ice for icing. <coughs> I suppose I'll look at the out-of-town scores and maybe provide an update. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Pat. I have a cold. Face-off in the Dundas zone. Seeing Freeney with a shot. Deflects, spinning around is Newberry. Newberry back to the point. Folks, lets one go. Scores! Folks makes it for nothing, Hamilton. Steelhawks goal, his first is a Steelhawk. Scored by number 24, Mike Folks. Assist by number 11, Chris Newberry. Time of the goal, 8.37 of the second period. Guy Palillo gets it into the slot. Hamilton starting to take over here, and this is where either chippiness or catching upness happens. Gets into the slot. McNeil fires one. Rebound is loose to the side of the net. LaPointe tries to center it. Now it goes to there, and it's Newberry that brings it through center. Newberry in over the line. 
Newberry, far side pass, back through the slot, off the goal post by McLean. And a pretty three-way passing play. And a big sigh let out through the Dave. Now they go the other way. Brewer to the front of the net. It's poked away by Monroe. <coughs> Oh boy, Mole looking up like he knew he was beaten and his best friend saved him. But what a pretty passing play there by the Steelhawks. Sullivan leads it up to Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto to Thorne, cross ice pass intercepted by Bennett who hacks it up to Snyder. Snyder in over the line. Snyder stops, puts it over there for Brewer. Brewer, slot area pass deflected and out of play by Adam Monroe. And we passed the halfway mark in this one. And it's 4-0 Hamilton. <clears throat> well, this is the only game tonight. There is no out-of-town score. Well, that makes my life easier. Dumped in and it's Cianfrini with a puck for Hamilton. Snyder giving chase, forcing him to make a move. The Brewer gets a skate on it. Cianfrini with three Dundas real McCoys on him. <coughs> to the line, not out. Atkinson fires one into the corner. Another nice play by Snyder to keep it in, but it's poked ahead by Di Benedetto. And he's might have a chance to go in alone. Di Benedetto scores! Di Benedetto makes it 5 nothing Hamilton. Another big turnover for Hamilton. And Justin Di Benedetto. Makes it 5 nothing. And he is off to a good pace and a start this season as well. Steel Hawks goal. Scored by number 96, Justin D. Benedetto. Unassisted time of the goal, 10.43 of the second period. A high stick makes contact and Rinaldi plays it. McGregor plays the puck and it goes back behind the net. This is De Silva with a lead pass. That goes into Wood. Backhand, nice save by Monroe. And riding his man out was Williams. <coughs> De Silva at the point, fires one. That one goes wide of the net and back to the point. Now back of the net, Dan LaPointe with the puck. He's got that long reach and turns it, reverses it, goes the other way, puck comes in front. And Dundas getting the puck to the slot, doing a good job of that tonight. They're just like a cheap armoire, have no finish. Wood brings it to the line, doesn't go in. Wood fires again, a blocker saved by Monroe. Centered again, and there it is in the slot where Hamilton picks it up. Rinaldi, long lead pass on the far side to Salt. Salt to the slot. <coughs> McGregor misses it. De Silva brings it in over the line. Fires it into the corner, goes around the boards, and this is Newberry. Newberry with one lead pass. This is Perfetto. He's got McLean with him. McLean! Big save by Mole. McLean looking around like he couldn't believe it didn't go in. <coughs> and this speed is just of that line in particular, the Newberry, Perfetto, and McLean line is just having their way with the Dundas defense tonight. Newberry fires one, hits the top of the net, comes back in front. They hack away at it to the line and to center. All the way back is Sullivan. Lead pass to Newberry and a crisp one. Far side over to McLean. <coughs> McLean's showing some really good reach and digging pucks out and squirting them around actually. 
contorting his body and making a couple of plays this evening where the puck's been beside him and around him, and he finds a way to get it in front. You know, here's Brewer trying to pass, didn't get in front. Phil Brewer with the puck behind the net, gets it in the slot, shooting, and that came up and hit a face. And back in the slot again, and they score! Shane Terry <coughs> scores, and Dundas gets on the board. Fifteen. Dundas goal scored by number 13, Shane Terry. Assist by number 6, Connor Russell. Time of the goal, 13 minutes and 15 seconds of the second period. So Dundas gets one back on a loose puck. And they've had a lot of chances in the slot tonight. But it's either that they couldn't finish or Hamilton gets the puck or Monroe makes a save. That's the first one that they've been converting. So maybe the collapsing in front of the net is not terrible, but the puck's getting there. Rinaldi brings it to McGregor. McGregor over the line to Rinaldi, shoots off the side of the post. Centering pass, Mole almost pushed it in. <coughs> and it goes to the line and out. Oh, McGregor over the line. And Salt plays it to McGregor who brings it in. McGregor shoots, a nice save by Mole who was ready to play it and he covers up. Newberry will take the draw in there against LaPointe. <clears throat> no penalties in this game thus far. I'll bet you I just jinxed that. Dundas comes up with the draw. De Silva tries to get it to the point, but it doesn't go out. Here's that forechecking line of Newberry and McLean again. McLean trying to hack that one in, does again. McLean. Newberry on the far side, but that pass didn't get through. And Profetto he had in the corner. Here's Profetto again. Rolls it to center in LaPointe. <coughs> De Silva with the puck. Play through center. Here's Profetto over to Newberry. Newberry very good out there. Cross ice pass to Sullivan. Big save by the pad of Mole. And that keeps it 5-1 to one in favor of Hamilton with five minutes to go in the third. Brewer brings it in and tries to center. It's poked away. Tresito. LaPointe back behind the net. LaPointe still with it, trying to get it there. It's Snyder back behind the net and tried to hack it to the other side. Long shot by Russell goes wide and to the line. Not out. It's Cameron putting his entire body into that one. Lead pass for Di Benedetto. It's deflected, will go in. No arm comes up. I guess in a 5-1 game, you don't need any favors. And Di Benedetto was kind of backing into that one there. Watson over the line, centering pass. That was almost tapped in by McNeil. But now it goes the other way, and here's Di Benedetto coming down that far side again. Fires the shot, Mole steers it aside. Goes back behind the net. Down low it goes. It's 5-1, but anything can change in the Allen Cup Hockey League. Cameron shoots. Puck is loose, goes back behind the net. Di Benedetto trying to jam it in. Tries to come around the other way. Thorne took a hack at it. And it's finally Mole who gets a paw on it. With under four minutes to go in the second period, the score, 5-1, in favor of the Hamilton Steelhawks. And Dundas just being outskated so far offensively, and particularly that... When Newberry and McLean are out there, they have quite a fair deal of chemistry. McGregor in to take the draw. 
against Bennett, who wins it and takes it out to center. He tried to spring Brewer, but couldn't get the puck through. Now Atkinson goes back into his own zone in a lead pass. Gets through to Bennett. Bennett brings it in over the line. And once again, the Dundas Real McCoys will try to control it low and in behind Monroe and make a play to center, but it's Hamilton that comes up with the puck. Deflected pass. This one is picked up by Williams with speed. Williams looking for a streaking man. It's deflected. And you really shouldn't be looking for a streaking man unless the cops tell you to keep your eyes out for one. Shane Terry puts it into the corner. And it's Williams trying to make another lead pass. And Mangos spins around, gets the turnover. And Dundas brings it through center and in over the line. Brewer shooting. That shot knocked the stick right out of Monroe's hand. And now he's playing with the defenseman's stick. It's Williams' stick. He may have to get around here, and Williams, without the baton, had to make a play. <coughs> so Williams couldn't get over to Monroe's stick. Kind of trapped in no man's land. Comes back to the point. Atkinson shoots, and it goes into the corner. Wood gets it back to Atkinson. Hops over his stick and goes out of the zone. Newberry playing his stick to his goaltender. There's an exchange of sticks there. And Monroe, who had that stick knocked out of his hands by that hot shot, once again has it back in his blocker hand. LaPointe picks up the puck, brings it in over the line. LaPointe turns, spins, looks to get the point back, at the, doesn't go. Intercepted, Harvey getting it into the slot, goes back behind the net. I feel like we haven't seen Harvey in quite some time. Oh, a man comes on, but they're not in a 5-1 game going to give him a penalty there, though it probably should have been because he played the puck. However... It's Profetto bringing it in over the line, a shot, a save, and Mole will cover that up. Some frustration over there by the Dundas Real McCoys bench, but fortunately they were not penalized for it. Hey, Jamie Williams, you want your stick back? Monroe brings it over, and Williams has it back in his hand with a nice little lean on the bench. One of the more vocal players on the bench, I've heard. Cameron takes the draw, tries to win it back to the point, and that's Thorne with the puck. Tresito keeps it in. Goes into the corner, now into the slot. Di Benedetto trying to get the puck into the front. Now puck is loose, deflected right in front. Cameron couldn't fire it in. Lots of loose pucks available, and Hamilton still has that puck. Into the corner it goes. Stevens comes up with a puck in Dundas. Will take it out to center. Watson trying to get to it, but it's intercepted by Reggie Tresito. It comes back in, and Tresito will try to get it out it again. He'll wheel it around. Di Benedetto tips it in so a change can be executed. Mole was looking for a long pass there. Shane Terry brings it in over the line. Lost the puck, gets it back, gets it over to De Silva in the slot, deflected wide, and goes into the corner. Last minute of play in the second period. Rinaldi deflects it, goes into the corner, and it's Stevens that comes up with a puck. 45 seconds to go. It's been mostly Hamilton here before Dundas finally got one back. Oh, it's Rinaldi springing McGregor who falls over the blue line. <coughs> Terry over the line. Folks gets it back out to center. Salt brings it over to Rinaldi. Rinaldi over the line to Salt. Salt gets it behind the net to Rinaldi. Rinaldi comes up with the puck in the Zamboni area, trying to center it. Dundas comes up with a turnover. Into the corner goes Rinaldi, looking to center. Does! Big save by Mole. And Dundas will dump it down the ice, and this one will go for icing with just under nine seconds. Two extra ones ticked off there. In the grand scheme of things, it might not matter. Newberry will take the draw. He's out there with Profetto and McLean. This line has been lethal tonight. Back behind the net it goes. Russell winds it off the boards. And Cianfrini tries to pinch, but that'll do it for the second period. Fans, make sure you visit the Hawks' nest in the community room, located on the upper level behind the players' benches. 
And you can pick up in this second intermission an ice cold beer. Just taking it to the Dundas Real McCoys tonight. The score is five to one. Really burning them on offensive rushes. Uh, there's another one over the line. A collision between two players. Oh no. And Rinaldi and Lapointe both in a degree of pain as they kind of collided, perhaps what looks to be a knee on knee type reaction. <coughs> they both are checking up on each other. Seeing if they're okay. And some good sportsmanship between the co-hosts of the Allen Cup this season. Rinaldi will stay on the ice, but Lapointe really lumbered back to the bench there, and he's struggling, but not going to the dressing room. He's doubled over there. <coughs> and they really had a collision at the blue line there to start this period. Terry deflects that one just in. Bennett goes behind the net, looks to center it, gets it back to Woods, fires a shot, that deflects wide. Williams backhands it around to Rinaldi. Or not Rinaldi, that's Salt. Gets it in over the line, shot deflected wide. That was Rinaldi. Oh, my throat. Brewer over the line, brings it into the corner, takes it back to the point where Mangos shoots it in. Terry spins. And offside was the call, so they're going to bring it all the way. Hey, Steelhawks, are you ready to raise a little hell? <coughs> Sienfrini wins the puck, gets it to center. Goes all the way into the corner where Mike Mole plays it. Off the boards. Back through the slot and Cam Watson picks it up and gives it to McNeil. Kyle McNeil dumped it into the corner and Dundas picks up the puck and gets it into the slot area. Goes through the stick of McGregor, or McLean and goes all the way down the ice on Mole. Mole calling it as he's going to throw it over to Atkinson and Atkinson goes through center. Newberry with a backhander that goes all the way to Cianfrini. Long pass that missed folks. Scores! Picking it up off the line was Charlie Stevens, and it's five to two, still in favor of Hamilton. But be careful. Things can change in a hurry here in the Allen Cup hockey. Dundas goal scored by number 14, Charlie Stevens. Unassisted. Time of the goal, 1 minute 33 seconds of the third period. So Dundas, if they're going to make a comeback, it has to start with a goal like that. Early and often. And Monroe just didn't see it. Monroe made a nice backhand save there and another beauty glove save as yet another opportunity. <laughs> Three chances fired in on Monroe. And he got that glove up and made a really nice save on that third one. I'll tell you what, that puck goes in, and it's a different vibe in the rink almost immediately. Shot that Monroe saw at the last minute came from the point again. They kick it around, centered. Snyder took a whack at it and it just goes wide behind the net. Thorne to the line out. Dundas coming out all of fire in this period and laying all kinds of shots on the Hamilton Netmeyer. Is this what I think it is, Giorgio? All about the Greta Van Fleet. Oh, you bigot! Oh, anyway. Behind the net it goes, spun around. Tresito. Harvey has it taken off his stick. 
Dundas putting the pressure on in the corner, but they're trying, Hamilton trying to get it out of the zone, and they will. Tresita with a long pass. Skips under Rinaldi, goes all the way down the ice, and we're coming back into the Hamilton zone for a faceoff, and Dundas really taking it to the Steelhawks early on in this third period. And now we're seeing Dan LaPointe go off the ice and go back to the dressing room for treatment. Apparently that collision has made him much worse for the wear. Charlie Stevens helping him off as the dressing room along with a contingent of Dundas fans is located right underneath our, our location here in the Dave Andrewchuk Mountain Arena. Puck comes all the way back to Mole who's signaling traffic. And now the play starts with a lead pass by Brewer. Kicked ahead by Harvey. And Cianfrini will play it back in his zone. Look around for LaPointe. Or Sullivan spins around with it in his zone. Sorry, LaPointe's off the ice there. We'll see if we can get an update for you. But definitely that collision with Rinaldi. Unintentional as it was, it looks like LaPointe got the worst of it. And that would be quite a blow because LaPointe one of the leading point getters last year. And always an effective player for the Dundas Real McCoys. Cianfrini brings it out to Profetto. Profetto to Newberry. Dumps it in for Hamilton. Mole out to play it. Hamilton sending two players in that time, and that one played off the glass. Goes out. And one of the cool things in this game is we have not seen a single penalty thus far. And we're with 16.26 left to go in the third period. Almost five-sixths of this game played. Well, not quite there yet. Centered. Chipped out. But no penalty yet. Oh, McLean almost took that off of Bennett, but Bennett took it right back and gets it over to Guy Palillo. Palillo missed on a nice hit by Cianfrini there as he took him out of the play and created the turnover. Newberry with a long pass to McLean. McLean, one move, a second move, but was unable to shoot it. <clears throat> Falling backwards, he could only watch as his shot sailed wide. McLean with another turnover. Boy, he gets a lot of those. Mole says enough of this and plays it out to center. Bennett brings it in over the blue line and a shot. Monroe steals that, steers that into the corner. Bennett takes the puck, centers the pass. Puck is loose, deflected high, and out of play with 15.30 to go in the third period. Hamilton still leading by a margin of 5-2. to two. You don't like Van Halen? Stevens plays it back behind the net. This is Folks. Folks makes a nice little play to Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto plays it back in the far corner, and Hamilton will regroup, and Tresito will say, maybe I'll try it this time. His lead pass to Thorne gets deflected to Di Benedetto nicely. He's got Thorne going to the net. Di Benedetto shoots and a save by Mole. He covers up. That's like the Mole we've seen historically in this building not offering a lot of rebounds and in those dark pads you where no dark matter can escape or no light and quite often no pucks there were a few rebounds in this one tonight nothing that's cost him dearly most of the goals being scored on a rush there's a point shot by folks and here we are Tresito fires that one back in, and Mole can't wait to leave it there for Atkinson. Sorry for Wood. Stevens leads this one over to Watson. McNeil in the slot, shoots. Nice glove save by Monroe. Flashes the leather there and sits down. Makes a really nice play.
Snyder plays it back. Wood spins around with it. Mackenzie Wood gives it back to Harvey. Harvey in the corner. Snyder gets it back to the point, and Brewer will bring it in. Into the corner it goes. Williams hacks away at it, goes along the boards to the far side. Harvey plays it back for Snyder. Snyder goes around to this side to Brewer, but Brewer had to double over to get to that side and wasn't available to keep the puck in. Has to go back into his own zone. Russell with a move. Gets a lead pass that just gets by Snyder. McGregor comes up with a puck. Lead pass now through the ice to McGregor. Deflected, goes between the leg. Salt couldn't get to it, and Dundas comes back three strong the other way. This is Wood. Centering shot, save on Snyder by Monroe. We'll have a face-off in the Hamilton zone. Dundas trying to get back in this one. They've come out in the third period very well. To the point, it goes over to the far side. De Silva with a shot. Deflected. Puck is loose. Rebound. Stop by Monroe. Puck is still loose. Tries to come to the front of the net, and it comes out. It's Profetto taking the puck out for Hamilton. Lead pass to Newberry. Brings it in over the line. Newberry stops. Gets it over to the far side to Profetto. It goes into the corner. Profetto spins around and tries to get it to the line. Ref gets in the way. Profetto dances around again. Far side pass. Doesn't get through. And this is Ian Freeney throwing it back behind the net. Profetto almost had it come right in front to him, but it didn't that time. Bennett gets it to the point. Bennett, Brewer, brings it in over the line. Bennett brings it in front. He scores! It's 5-3. to three. Don't go anywhere. Clock! So that one just sneaks through. Yeah, a few extra seconds did tick away there, so that's really what they're trying to correct. Nothing about the goal or anything. I'll try one more point streak thing, but Dundas is right back in this hockey game. Dundas Real McCoy's goal, scored by number 12, Mark Bennett. Assist by number 19, Phil Brewer. Time of the goal, 6.53 of the third period. Steelhawks in, and a nice glove save by Mole. Some Back to the point it goes. Tresito's shot gets deflected wide. D. Benedetto. And... Tresito again firing it, comes right back at him after a nice block by Watson. And Hamilton a little bit on their heels here. And Dundas with all the momentum. And that's what makes Friday night hockey between these two teams fantastic. Hamilton started to a 5-0 lead, but Dundas has crawled their way back in it, and it is a 5-3 game here in the third period at the Dave. Stevens plays it off the point, gets it into front. It was deflected. Dundas threatening that front of the net. De Silva getting it again. Sullivan will try to play it to center. Does. Salt goes cross ice towards the Hamilton bench. 
They're waiting for players to get off. <laughs> I need a sneeze button and a cough button tonight, man. I'm dying. And I'm loving it. No place I'd rather be, especially with a finish like this. Look out. Here come the Dundas Real McCoys again. <coughs> Sullivan winds it around and Gianfrini gets the puck. He'll play it out to center. Oddly enough, mostly of this is happening after that injury to the LaPointe, and he's one of their bigger players. Sullivan comes in with a low shot that Mole easily steers to the corner. Dan Brewer has it there, but Rinaldi comes in and gets it. And now Sullivan will take it back to Rinaldi. Rinaldi getting it into the front area. Salt gets it to Rinaldi, shooting, and that just goes wide. <coughs> Salt has it on the far corner. Plays it off the boards. Newberry looking back at the point. Tresito a shot. Hits his own man in front, and that was Salt that took the worst of that. And it's Aya Dundas able to get it to center. 10.40 to go, third period, 5-3 Hamilton. <coughs> and all the momentum going to Dundas at this point. Brewer, long shot goes wide, into the corner. Lead pass. De Silva falls. Profeto gonna get there really quickly, but he absorbs a big hit from Brewer. <coughs> and Brewer stands on top of the puck. Behind the net it goes. Oh, man. Newberry plays it up. Profeto has Newberry. Newberry shoots. Oh, and he just missed the top corner with that one. So Dundas will bring it back the other way. And with a burst of speed, this is Russell. Russell cross ice deflected into the corner for Harvey. Harvey plays it off the boards. Folks to the line, not out. Kept in by Dundas. Now it goes to the line, this is a good chance for Profeto. Profeto with a burst of speed, Profeto shoots. And that was a save by Mole that just goes wide. Di Benedetto rushing up into the play, but it goes all the way back. And this is where Williams has the puck. Williams to Cameron. Cameron through the slot. Cameron tries to get it back to the point. Thorne couldn't get it. And now Williams making sure he makes a cautious play back to Sullivan. Williams brings it to the line, not in. Quickly turned over by Dundas who brings it into the zone. Watson into the front of the net. Off the glass and around the boards. To the line, not out. Mangos puts it in the corner. Hamilton comes up with the puck and takes it to center. This is Thorne. Thorne to Williams. Williams through center and fires it into the corner. Mole plays a backhand, but that was almost intercepted by Cameron. Gets it behind the net to Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto comes in front, puck is loose. Goes over top of the net. Fired around by Wood. Williams keeps it low. Di Benedetto looking to get it in front. Now goes behind the net. A push by Hamilton here. Di Benedetto to Thorne. Thorne gets it low. Now spins away the other way. Will come back to the front of the net. Behind the net again to Thorne. Thorne has it on this side. Looks back to Williams at the point. Williams looking around will play it low. Doesn't want to risk giving up the puck. And now it goes low to Thorne. Thorne over on the far side, low to Cameron. Cameron tries to come through the crease. It goes to Williams, has it in his skates and keeps it to the front of the net and that shot just goes wide. And Watson's gonna have it and Dundas will relieve the pressure. Now this is Stevens coming through, over the blue line and makes the button hook. Comes back, Hamilton comes up with the puck as a nice play by Williams there to get the turnover. Charlie Stevens bringing it back for Dundas, long shot in. And Monroe steers that quickly. Here comes Rinaldi. Rinaldi with a lead pass to Salt. Salt to McGregor. McGregor, the burst of speed down the left side, comes to the front of the net. Mole looking behind him. And it's underneath him. Mole leaning way back there. And no arms went up. The puck was in that dark matter. Could be an exciting finish here at the Dave as things try to get fixed here. Looking at possibly adding a few seconds. Or not. Yeah.
Faceoff goes back to the point. Ian Freeney wins it, fires it low, comes back in front of the net. Added an assist to Mike Mole on that last Dundas goal. Behind the net, centered. Two good saves by Monroe. He covers it, thought about giving it to Rinaldi, but that didn't happen. Slot shot, nice save off of Brewer by Monroe. Da Silva turning in his own zone. Lead pass through the zone to Shane Terry who dumps it in for Tianfrini. Five straight goals for Hamilton and then three straight for Dundas if you're just joining us with seven minutes to go here in the third period. It's getting clumsy up there. Not yet, not yet. The, the big goal's tomorrow. Got your tucks all picked out, Giorgio? Russell takes a shot, deflected, and that's a nice save by Monroe who had to make an adjustment as that puck changed trajectory on the route to the net and hit him in the arm, and he made a nice catch on it to make sure that there was no rebound. Back to the point it goes, Russell shoots again. Dundas wins the draw and fires one in on Monroe. Shots may have evened up here. Dundas catching up in shots here in the third period. It's now 43 to 37 in favor of Hamilton. Folks turns around, Bennett, they tackle in the corner. We're still awaiting this game's first penalty. They hack away and it's Perfetto that gets it over on that side. Russell will pinch in. Him and McLean hack away at it. Dundas comes up with a puck behind the net. Good hard hack by Newberry to the line, not out. McLean was unable to keep that, get that one out and Dundas keeps it in. That one goes off the side of the net. Palillo loses it. Sullivan will have a chance now. And this is McLean with a good burst of speed through center. McLean brings it in over the line. Spins it around, dumps it behind the net to Newberry. Newberry. Gets it back to the point, and Brewer. Over to Russell. Russell brings it in over the line. And makes another move, but takes it all the way back behind the net. Tresito trying to get the puck off of him. He's holding his man, but Dundas comes up with a puck. Dundas playing it bow around the corner. Snyder with a shot, hits a skate. Ends up in front of the net, and Benedetto picks it up, takes it behind the net. Plays it off the glass, and that one will get to center, but it's Wood coming up for it with Dundas. He brings it in. Mackenzie Wood brings a shot. Nice save by Monroe. Profetto with one nice lead pass. Here comes Hamilton, two on two. Over to Di Benedetto, and that pass doesn't get through. Cameron spins, has a bit of room, gets it to the front of the net. Deflected wide and into the corner it goes. Just over five minutes left, and it's still five to three Hamilton. Back behind the net they go. Di Benedetto, tough angle shot. Mole saw that all the way and kept it in his glove. Face off in the Dundas zone. It takes two and Giorgio will find that out tomorrow. So. <laughs> Randy for the score! Stefan Thorne buries it. And Hamilton leads six to three.
Steelhawks goal, scored by number seven, Stefan Ford. Assist by number 96, Justin DiBenedetto, and number 89, Brian Cameron. Time of the goal, 15.07 of the third period. So Hamilton gets one back and a nice shot that beat Mole blocker side. Sullivan really hounding his man in here. Things could get chippy at this point now that the lead has been extended and the time is running out. Brewer fires that one into the corner. Stevens in front to Watson. Nice save by Monroe, but it goes back behind the net where Watson still has it on his stick. Gets it to the point to De Silva. De Silva's screenshot makes it through, hits the glass, and then bounces into the meshing. And Giorgio is ready with the Ram Jam and a little bit of Black Betty. Oh, one second drifted off the clock there. Bennett spinning around behind the net, has it for Dundas, gets it to Mangos. Mangos to Brewer. Brewer turns around, goes cross ice, and Hamilton intercepts. Salt, three on two for Hamilton here. Rinaldi, Rinaldi goes cross ice. Back to the point where Tresito just fires it on goal. Into the corner it goes. Salt can't keep it in. And Bennett to the line and out. All kinds of scrambly play at the blue line. But Hamilton comes up with the puck, and they'll just dump it in. As McGregor takes a bit of a hit on the boards. Through center, this is Mangos over the line for Dundas and dumping it into the corner. Puck bounces behind the net, nearly took a bounce in off of Monroe, goes to the point, look out. This is a two on O. Oh. McLean and Profetto, McLean to Profetto, to McLean to Profetto, oh, and what a save! by Mole. Mole had no interest in the circus show of the 2 on 0 in form. And he made a great glove save and then started the play. What a play by Mole. Williams behind the net. Winds it around. See if Dundas can build on this in the dying minutes. Intercepted by Hamilton. It'll be McLean that turns around. Looking at Williams back in the zone. Now Williams has the puck for Hamilton and brings it through center. Williams takes it into the corner, gets it in front. Puck is loose. Taken by Stevens behind the net and controlled. Dundas, too strong and a two-on-two -two to center. Stevens with McNeil. De Silva with a shot and Monroe out to meet it. And with 2.04 to go, this one 6-3 Hamilton. Looking in decent control of this one. The next games for this team, for Hamilton, will be at home against Whitby next Friday. Sorry, Dundas will be at home next wit to Whitby next Friday. Hamilton next Friday against Brantford in this building. Two minutes to go. Game time is at 7.30 at the Dave. Giorgio will be on his honeymoon. We won't even be a thought in your eye on Friday night, will we? You'll be a couple surveys as in, I'm sure. Wow. He's got, uh, he's got some goals. It's good to have goals, Giorgio, and you certainly do. So we haven't seen Dan LaPointe returning to this one, and at this point I doubt he will. Hope that he's okay. He's a key part to this McCoy's offense. McNeil had trouble with that one, and it's Di Benedetto coming up with the puck. Throwing it over on the far side to Stevens. Stevens shooting. Oh, that hit the mask of Monroe and went behind the net. Tresito picks up the puck. Minute 40 to go in this one. 6-3 Hamilton. Tresito in the zone. Takes it into the corner. Takes a nice hit from De Silva who wasn't going to let him skate with it. Atkinson tries to play it through center, does. Hamilton intercepts and Sullivan 
turns around with the puck and will slow things down as Dundas makes a change. And Di Benedetto will take off with the puck in his own zone. Cross ice pass to Tresito, brings it in over center and dumps it into the corner in behind Mole. Mole makes a nice lead pass to Shane Terry who will bring it out of the zone. Last minute of play in the third period. Mangos makes a couple of nice moves. Mangos brings it in over the line. Salt, Russell has it in the corner. In front, jam away at it. Puck bounces and it goes to center. Hamilton's able to clear the relieve the pressure there. Good knockdown by Rinaldi. Him and Bennett swinging sticks at each other for a bouncing puck. Not much comes out of it in 30 seconds to go. And it looks like Hamilton's gonna come away with a victory here tonight at the Dave. Back to the point it goes. Mangos with a shot in the corner. They jam away in front of the net. Monroe goes into the corner. Russell calls for it at the point. Doesn't get it. Brewer plays it over on that corner. Now centering by Mangos. Puck is loose. Still loose. Big open chance and then just shot high. And Terry looks skyward with five seconds to go. Rinaldi will play the cup in the corner. It's Williams who will eat it there. And Hamilton wins 6-3. to three. Oh, how do you like Friday nights at the Dave?